Hey everybody, it's Chris Lode here, uh, and this Scratch Junior screencast, uh, we're going to look at a little bit of work with backgrounds and a couple of other little tricks in between. Uh, so if you haven't been following along, we've been uh, slowly adding to this little kind of very short mini story between the crab and the fish. And you can see all the commands that we've coded so far for our crab and also for the fish. I'm going to let it run. Basically what happens is the crab runs into the fish, the fish starts hopping, the crab then backs up and they have a bit of a conversation. So I'm going to let it run here, tap the green flag and let it go. Thanks for not stepping on my fin. All right, so that's as far as we've gotten. I'm going to hit um, hit the reset button. Now, I think a really key part that we're missing here is, of course, the background. So I'm going to tap on the background button, and I'm going to scroll down, and I'm just going to add the beach, and you'll see why here. So we're going to add the beach, and um, also one thing we can do here is we can edit the background. So I can hit the paintbrush, and if I wanted to add um, Maybe I wanted to add a blanket. I could maybe have a rectangular blanket and I can have a blanket sitting there and then I can fill it in if I want. I'll tap the paint bucket which is down here and maybe I want a, uh, a, a blue blanket. So I tap on the blue and then tap on the blanket. There's my blue blanket. You can do anything on this with uh, the variety of or the various tools that they have here. So I'm going to click my check mark and there's my blue blanket. Um, anyways, um, so I've added my background. So I've got my uh, background here. Now, what I'm going to also do is I'm going to add a second background. So I tap on that button. Now, you have to reload everything. So when you uh, incorporate a new background or a new scene or a new page, uh, you have to reload everything. So I'm going to get rid of my cat. So I tap on the cat, hit the X. I want to add my fish and my crab. So where are they? There's the fish. Yes. And I want to add my crab. There's crab. There's the crab. So now I have my two characters on here. And I'm going to put them up here because this is approximately where they're going to end up after this scene here. Okay. Now, I also want to put a background here because we're going to go from the beach to underwater. So I click on my backgrounds and we'll go underwater. There's a nice, beautiful underwater scene. And there they are. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to, to scene one. Uh, I've got all my code here. And what happens here is um, when the, um, after the fish after the fish talks and says, um, thanks for not stepping on my fin and asks, do you want to go for a swim? Sends an orange message to the crab. There's the orange message. The crab starts moving. Oh, and I've got two of these. That's, that's why. Okay. So, um, I don't... Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, that's right. I, this one sort of makes the crab wiggle and this one makes it move. So what I'm going to do is I actually want to have the fish do the exact same thing. Now, I can easily do this for the fish, um, or I can copy this code by simply clicking, dragging, right up to the fish. You see how the fish is highlighted? I drop it in there. Then if I click on it, stays with the crab. If I click on the fish, there it is. I also have that little bit of code that I've copied for the fish. So it's an easy way to copy strings of, of blocks uh, between the characters. So what's going to happen is the fish is also going to do the little uh, little swimmy bit uh, into the ocean. And then after the fish and crab swim up into the ocean, what I want to do is I want to add uh, a, a block that makes it automatically go to this scene. So right here, the red ones, you can see here, before I didn't have this, but after I created scene two, this is a block that says 
go to page two or scene two. So after the crab, um, after the crab swims up, after the crab swims up and says, let's go, then we have this little block here that says transition to page two. And then, so then this page will appear. So here we go. I'm going to let it run and see what happens. Reset everything and go. Thanks for not stepping on my fin. Press that button. For sure, I love swimming. All right, and so they transition to this page, and then here you can have a whole another series or sequence of events that maybe happen underwater. So um, there's a maximum of four different pages or scenes that you can have, um, and the nice thing is, and I um, is that you can um, then have new messages sent or um, you can have a whole new set of these messages so you can have another six here in this scene because again we're having to recreate the code for here all right so um, hopefully that will help you in your transitions between the pages or scenes in your digital storytelling thank you bye-bye